x over 4 plus x over 6 plus x over 8 equals 26. I need to solve for x. Here's how I'm going to find the least common denominator. I'll start with the biggest number, 8, and then I'll, I'll take 8 and then I'll double it and triple it and so on until I get to a number that is a multiple of both of these other numbers. So first of all I look at 8. Is 8 a multiple of 4 and 6? Well not quite. 8 is a multiple of 4, it's 4 times 2, but it's not a multiple of 6. So then I take 8 and double it. I get 16. Is 16 a multiple of both of those? Again, not quite. Same thing. It's a multiple of 4. 16 is a multiple of 4, but not a multiple of 6. So now, now I take 8 and triple it, and I get to the number 24. 24 is a multiple of 4, and it's also a multiple of 6, and of course it's a multiple of 8. So I found a common denominator. And that little technique is just a quick way in many cases to get you the least common denominator. So now let's rewrite the problem here. x over 4 plus x over 6 plus x over 8 equals 26. And I want to multiply both sides by 24. Okay, and I have to distribute. 24 times x over 4. Well, think of this 24 here. It's in the numerator, obviously. So think of 24 over 4. That can reduce to a 6. And then I still have the x. So this first term becomes 6x. Then I multiply 24 times x over 6. In this case, the 24 on top and the 6 on the bottom reduce to a 4 and I still have the x, so I have 4x for my next term. And then I do 24 times x over 8. And the 24 over 8 reduces to a 3, and I still have the x, so 3 times that, 3x. And over on the right I have 26 times 24. And I pull out a calculator for that. 26 times 24 comes out to be 624. Now on the left, I have 6x plus 4x plus 3x. These are all x terms, so they can be combined. And that's easy. 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 3 is 13. So I have 13x is equal to 624. And then the last step is simply to divide both sides by 13 and on the left the 13's cancel out. So x is 624 divided by 13 and that does work out to a nice even number. x it turns out is 48.